This is an interesting concept. A scale that Barry Harris came up with that involves the major and minor scales, including a sharp fifth or a flat six if you prefer. First, I'll run up and down the major scale with a sharp fifth. <laughs> And now, I'll run up and down the minor scale with a sharp fifth. Then what Barry did was he had us arpeggiate all 12 keys using the major and minor arpeggios. After that, we would arpeggiate upwards with the major scale arpeggio and then downwards with the diminished arpeggio, like so. I'd like to show you why the descending diminished works so well with the C major and C minor ascending chords. If you start on a third of any dominant chord and play a diminished arpeggio, you get a dominant flat 9 chord. In this case, we're starting on a third of G7 and playing a diminished chord, and it gives us a G7 flat 9. Here is the way I might play a 251 on the piano. You can see the notes in the G7 flat 9 in beats 3 and 4 of any of these bars in different inversions. So a G7 flat 9 easily resolves back to a C major 6 or a C minor 6. After that, we did the same thing with the minor scale arpeggio and the diminished arpeggio. Now using this in practical terms is an entirely different thing. So I gave it some thought is the how I can use this pattern in the actual playing field. So here's how I used it on the song Con Alma. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Barry Harris Major and Minor Six Diminished Arpeggios if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel for updates on my newest jazz video lessons. I've also started a brand new Patreon page to help defray the cost of making these videos, where I'll be including PDFs of these lessons and insider tips. Please feel free to go to patreon.com slash Vitali and join up to help in this jazz journey. Thank you for watching and happy practicing.